Oh, 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 oh. Why are you so ugly? Why are your kids so ugly? Why is your mother so ugly? Why don't you go away? Why don't oh, you Oh, doesn't this look lovely? Don't you want to move over here? Settle down in a nice wooden house with these beautiful gardens in a beautiful neighborhood. When you meet a Norwegian, you will think, oh, they are so shy, they are so introvert. We just want peace, harmony, and love. Be aware. And I'm not sure that you would do that, because behind that bush, behind that garden, there's a monster simmering beneath the surface. And you might be asking, who is it? It's your effing neighbor! Die! And we have never ever gone to war against anyone uh, uh, except our neighbors. Oh, you shut up! You die, your old hag! And you know what? Those trees, cut them down! Actually, Norwegians are on top of the world when it comes to long-lasting conflicts with their neighbors. What? One in three person of these people living here in their lovely houses hate their neighbors but and they have declared war on their neighbors no. and they will kill your neighbors. Well, not, you know, totally kill them. Someone wants to. And there is no answer. It could be a small thing, like this tree is too high, that why aren't there any flowers over there? Why have your cat been here? And why is your wall painted red, when not yellow? yellow yeah. yeah, things like that. It's and a you small, have no trivial idea. thing. Small, you are standing thing. there in your garden and you're doing your thing and suddenly your life is ruined. <laughs> What's wrong? Those kids cannot, they not. Shut them Those kids! <laughs> you won't believe the conflicts that we Norwegian have with our neighbors. Oh, take them. In. They are incredible and hilarious surreal. and surreal. very surreal. surreal. One of the most famous, uh, there was this huge infight between neighbors. They were quite rich, they had big properties, but one of them was angry because one of the houses of the neighbors, according to them, was built on their land, on their property. So what did that neighbor do? After some quarreling, some attacks and some really passive aggressive things passive -aggressive. of course we are very passive aggressive you know what he did he sawed the house of the neighbor in two so that that part that he meant was on his property it was gone and when the neighbor came back they had a half a house can you imagine the effort he had to get the like during the night so when they were on vacation and all lots of that. Lots of planning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Norwegians are lazy by nature. Yeah. Why did this start? Nobody knows. It could be a Listen, little box. Norwegians don't talk. How do we know? Well, it could have been this small thing, just a cigarette, because that small little detail have irritated him or her for a long, long time. And you know, Norwegians, we don't talk about our feelings. That's a huge issue here. We lack the instruments. Yeah, we have, we have no words for feelings. And, and having a feeling is actually a very private, intimate thing. And you will never show that in public. So, I mean, you have been saying hello to your neighbors for a long time. Eating waffles. Yeah, and you, you have been uh, maybe helping them out, doing some small talk and my god you don't understand why he clicks because why the rage the takes over way. because you put a container the way, wrong way but you wouldn't know it because it's very not What's rational but in the end Norwegians when it comes to feelings 
this is not our home turf. This so is what, our only communication. Yeah, we can we can speak with guns and scissors and notes, Fire. but we can't use words. And we cannot actually go to you and say, please, Mr. or Mrs. Neighbor, I find that what you are doing is is very, very annoying. No. I never go to my No, neighbor. no, no, they will never come. Oh, come on, doggy, doggy. Little puppy, come on. You're so fiend, so fiend, so fiend. Oh, sit down, sit down. Hi, please. <laughs> Wait a minute, little boy. Take this. So, Ronald, what can you do to resolve this conflict? Oh, it's easy. I will show you later. Just wait. Ugh. I'm so tired. It's midnight, son. Three o'clock in the middle of the night. And the grocery shop. I'm so looking forward to get home to my... <laughs> Why are you so ugly? Why are your kids so ugly? Why is your mother so ugly? One of the most famous neighbor quarrels in Norway was, was this man. He was actually doing uh, mental torturing on all his neighbor and it ended with the, all the neighbors they didn't, uh, they didn't dare to go in through their uh, ordinary entrances. So what did they do? They had to sneak around uh, their houses so that the neighbors didn't understand that they were at home. In the middle of the night. In the, the middle of the day, whenever. Because if he knew that they were at home, he would do whatever it takes to get that neighbor to move. It ended with that all the neighbors moved away and he was there alone. So do you have any stories about neighbors in conflict with each other from your country? Well, you know what to do. Leave a comment. We would love those advices what to do. Oh, there it is. <laughs> neighbors without television. <laughs> Another famous neighbor conflict in Norway was this man and this woman, they lived like this, they were neighbors, and there was just a small thing, and then they started to argue, and it ended up with a very aggressive thing, because both of them were standing with their own garden hose, and they were really splashing each other out. Shh, you go, you die, you know what. And after that garden hose uh, episode, one of the neighbors built a four meter high wall against the neighbor, painted it green, but not only green, they painted a huge picture of the Norwegian famous painting called Scream with the idea that each time that the neighbor would go out in his or her garden and relax, they had to look at this very disturbing picture. So they had to buy this fence and they had to buy... No, oh, not only build, ba uh, buy, they built it four meter on their own. They used a lot of money and to make that screen painting, it costed a lot. But the feeling that the neighbor had afterward was... So if you have a Norwegian friend, if you have a Norwegian friend, you will have it forever. But if you have a bad neighbor, you will have it forever too. You will have an enemy forever. But you know, we have a history when few generations back, we lived on our own mountaintop. We had our own fjord. There were miles and miles to next neighbors. It was our private kingdom. Yes. And now our kingdoms have become very small. Most of us doesn't live in a city. Most of us live on the countryside or in a small village. So we, we have no competence when it comes to interact with the neighbors. There's a new conflict around. Over there, there were two professor, old professor. You'd think they were rational and not so emotional, but they weren't. One of them placed an antenna on the roof and the other professor went like, okay, did you place that antenna on my property, on my house? And the other one, no, I didn't. This quarrels can affect Prime Ministers and Professors and Absolutely. everyone. Absolutely, these two were Professors. I mean, you wouldn't imagine that two smart heads. You know what? That bloody antenna 
they were for 16 years they were quarreling they had 26 meeting in the court and the court decided and decided and decided but these two stubborn professors they would never give up so what happened well one of them had to move after 16 years 26 times in, in court. court. Yes. We and, are and really they, and they, stubborn. Yeah, they, we are so stubborn. And we, when it comes to this war, oh my God, it's not a short war. It's a hundred years war with our neighbors. Because I'm always right and you are wrong. Of course. You have never right, you stupid. Go away, please. <laughs> and maybe the ugliest and the most smelling of all the Norwegian conflict was Where this. We? There were these two neighbors in quarrel and it had been uh, lasting for so many years and then one of the uh, neighbors thought to themselves, Eureka, I've got a good idea to get revenge, to make that neighbor move. What did he do? Well, <clears throat> he took his own switch and in Norway we have these big tanks, you know. This he, is he, not vain. He took that and <laughs> he placed it. 6,000 liters. Of sewage, his own sewage. He placed it in the uh, neighbor's garden. And that wasn't enough. It was in the summer, it was hot. And then he bought some very cheap fans, electrical fans, it and he turned them work. on so that when the neighbor were outside they couldn't miss the smell of the shitty neighbor and the neighbor had been shitting for 10 years and everything he placed the in the garden. Just imagine, <sighs> he, had to pull, oh. he had to pull electricity and everything. But do you, do you remember why that quarrel started? Meow. Of course it was the cat. It could have the been. cat must die! <sighs> <sighs> okay, so how do you solve this effing conflict that lasted for 16, 20 years? Is there any solution? There is no? Actually there is, but it's a hard bought one. It's a sad one. Mm, well, it's an expensive one because you have to go to court. And you have to be in court, not one, two, three, but as we have heard 16 times. But when the final judgment come and one of the parts have their court on their side. So and I've lost. <sighs> I won. Yes, you did. And here we are. Uh, okay, just wait a minute. I'll, 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 I'll collect myself. <clears throat> oh dear neighbor, dear dear neighbor, the court said that you won. So I'm bringing you this uh, bottle of wine. This is my gift to you so that from now on it's like nothing ever happened. Is this an apology? It's a symbol. Oh. I don't, I don't say, I, I don't I ask I for apologies. Right. I knew Listen. I was right all the time. But okay, yes. please. Yes, please. And that says so lot about Norwegians because it's all about justice. It has to yes. be just. So the court has it has to be solved by a court, and that's why the court system in Norway is is filled with neighbor conflicts and it's a big big problem. But that's the only way you can solve it. Or of course you can move. Or, I would have, I would have moved or right kill, away. Or kill him. Yeah, yeah, well, okay, you can do that too. I didn't say that, but that was this end of the conflict. Now, oh, we are friends. Are we friends? Take that bloody bottle, you winner. Goodbye.